a news alert. El Paso County Commissioners taking a vote of no confidence in their sheriff. This photo part of the scandal now surrounding Terry Makita. The calls for his resignation are growing. And now the parents of this missing girl, Cara Nichols, taking their frustrations out and they're taking those frustrations public. They fear that troubles inside the sheriff's department are jeopardizing their daughter's case. Mark Stewart uncovering new details, including an audio recording, Mark, in which that's now fueling their concern. And Mike, since the start, the family of Cara Nichols has been concerned their daughter's disappearance wasn't getting the attention it deserved. Now, a new audio recording obtained by 7 News suggests a pattern of sloppy police work. The disappearance of aspiring model Cara Nichols is still unsolved and now being dragged into a political fight. As El Paso County Sheriff Terry Makita fights off sexual corruption charges, he released this audio recording to discredit one of his prime accusers, Deputy Cliff Porter. Listen to this discipline hearing where Porter suggests he may have cut corners, filling out a report surrounding Nichols' disappearance. I apologize. Um, it's not going to be as good as if I had, you know, done it when, when all that stuff happened. Behind the scenes conversations that has the Nichols family livid. It is really unbelievable to hear such comments from a trusted law enforcement officer. Julian Nichols feels from the start her daughter's case wasn't getting the treatment it deserved. She feels this conversation serves as confirmation. Maybe somebody would finally just say, look, this is a cold case. This girl's probably dead. We're going to work the leads, but we're going to shelve this thing. And we won't, we won't overreact every time Mr. Nichols comes in. It's really sad to think that my daughter is still missing and these were the people in charge of her case. We've asked to interview Sheriff Makita. He isn't talking. Deputy Porter has since been reassigned to patrol from his job as a detective. And as far as Cara Nichols, a spokesperson telling me the investigation is, quote, actively being worked. Reporting live, Mark Stewart, 7 News.